And all done. The waste yarn has been liberated. And we have a gaping hole here in the middle of the sock for the heel. Now, I mentioned earlier that this is just my personal preference. I like to make the waste yarn, the heel hole, fall in the middle of a stripe. Now this is a little hard to see on this sock because the color of this green stripe and the color of this green stripe are very, very close. But in fact, there is a difference. And so I would like to begin my afterthought heel, heel with the same color of green that is right there. So I've pulled some yarn out of my skein. Bye bye and I cut the yarn right where this, this color green changes to this color green. So I'm at the beginning of that color of green. And because I want these socks to match, I don't always want them to match, but I would like this pair to match, I would kind of like to keep track of how far in I go. So I'm just gonna use the sock as a measuring stick and make the tail as long as the cuff of the sock and kind of hold that and that's gonna be where I wanna start knitting. Okay, so I'm just going to grab one end. I don't think it really matters if you start at the top or the bottom. And I'm going to knit around. Although, because I really don't like unsightly holes at the gussets, I'm going to pick up an extra stitch. I don't really think I have room to pick up more than one stitch in here. I'm just going to pick up one. One stitch. And you could either pick up the outside of the V, the left part of the V, or the right part of the V. The right part makes it a little bit neater, I think. It'll make it less gappy. And these first two stitches, I'm going to knit together. All right, the one that I picked up and the number one stitch on the needle. Knit them together to tighten things up at the corner. And then that will be my first stitch out of the 32. There we go. And then I just knit around. I'm gonna do the same thing when I switch needles on the other side of the hole. I'm going to pause the camera.